absolutely. Um, you said you've been meeting with the victims. President Obama has been very outspoken um, against gun control opponents, and he said he dares them to meet with the victims and, and see if that doesn't change their views on gun control. Has it changed your views at all, this experience meeting with the victims and the fact that it's easier to walk out with an AR-15 in the state of Florida than a handgun? Well, nobody would think that a, a, anybody on a terrorist watch list should have a gun, right? That, that should, uh, you know, we, we all can agree that they should, you know, we don't want somebody that's going to do something like that to be walking around with any, any uh, weapons. But the Second Amendment didn't kill anybody. This is ISIS. This is evil. This is radical Islam. Uh, I'm, I'm tired of what's going on in our country, that we're not focused enough on ISIS. We, um, we had Stephen Soloff, a journalist, beheaded uh, in 2014. He was from Miami. Now we have 40 people slaughtered right here. When are we going to say to ourselves as a country, enough? Let's let's focus on destroying ISIS. When we find information about somebody coming into our country, if you're if we don't if we're not comfortable with you coming into our country, this is our country. Why are you coming here? And then if we do vet somebody and we allow them in, why won't we share that with our local law enforcement? So we can, if we feel like we need to, because we're responsible for public safety in our states. We're, at a, you know, we're fortunately at a 45-year low in our crime rate, but I don't want anything like this to happen in my state ever again to any Certainly citizen. Certainly no one does. Certainly yeah. no one does. My law enforcement sources, though, tell me that while ISIS may have played a role, there were other factors at play that he more recently became radicalized. So, again, my question to you is, yes, ISIS terrorism could be to blame, but can you... Accept any responsibility for for the you know gun laws here in Florida. The fact that it is easier to walk out of a gun store in half an hour with an AR-15 that can kill more people faster than a pistol, yet it's harder to get a pistol than an AR-15. Let's remember, uh, the Second Amendment's been around for over 200 years. It didn't. It didn't. You know, that's not what killed innocent people. Evil killed innocent people. There's going to be a time to have a conversation about what we do to make our state, our city, our our country safer again. But let's have a conversation about how we destroy ISIS. Where's that? Where's that conversation? Why are conversations yeah, there? Yeah. Why are we not having that conversation about what are we doing? Why? I mean, I was on the I was on a call after the Paris attacks with the White House, and I said, Will you share? If you allow a Syrian refugee into my state, will you share that information with me in your background checks? And they said, No. Oh, come on, give me a break. I'm responsible for the public safety of the of the 20 million people in my state, the 100 million tourists, and you have information about somebody you're allowing to come to my state or may are moving to my state, mm -hmm. and you won't share it. That's wrong. Understandably, that, that's frustrating. I just to, just to put a button on this, um, you know, in the wake of any tragedy, you learn. Lessons are learned. Right. Um, no doubt. Uh, hopefully, there will be changes there in your view. Um, but will will you push for any changes in the gun laws in Florida? I think whenever something like this happens, you always have a you always have a conversation about what you should do, you know, afterwards, right? And we're going to have that conversation. Mm -hmm. But let's have this conversation about how we're going to stop ISIS. Mm -hmm. I mean, where's that conversation? Where's where's the conversation about destroy stopping radical Islam? You know, where's you know where but, how, what are we going to do? In a situation like this, where he is being radicalized online, self-radicalized by all this propaganda putting out being put out by ISIS. I mean, how do you stop that? Destroy what ISIS. do you do? If ISIS wasn't in the world, there would be, I mean, destroy ISIS. What, I mean, the first thing you do, go to the core. This is caused by ISIS being there. What are we doing to stop them? Now, can, can you, the FBI has said that this is not only ISIS, but that this is a hate crime. Do you also view this as a hate crime as well? It's targeting evil. the gay community? Oh, see, I mean, this is evil, and they targeted the gay community. They targeted the Hispanic community. Um, follow, you know, you can just, without even meeting with the families, look at the names. Last question yeah. for you. The